Hey guys, Charlani here. Thanks so much for tuning in to Charlani TV. So today is a don't feel that hot kind of a day. And when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, like I just have head congestion and like brain fog and just sleepy today. Um, no fever, I have been keeping an eye on that, but just not feeling my best and just a little under the weather. So I slept for many hours of the day, which felt really, really good. Um, but whenever I don't feel well, I don't know where the energy comes from, but I suddenly feel like cleaning the house. And so when I woke up this morning, I told Rob, I was like, I don't feel great at all. My, I had an upset tummy and I ended up cleaning this kitchen. I even totally cleaned the stove top. I swiffered, swept, vacuumed the house, got laundry started, it's almost all folded and it's just kind of what I do whenever I feel like sickness or illness coming on. I'm like, I need to do all the things because I don't know when I'm going to have energy again or when that energy that I do have is going to plummet, right, and hit empty. So I like to clean. I like to get things a little bit organized and situated because I have zero like creative juices flowing when I don't feel well. So I figured today would be a good day to clean, rest, sleep which is exactly what I did the other thing I like to do when I'm feeling under the weather is bake so that is exactly what I am going to do I'm actually gonna make the easiest simplest bisquick chocolate chip muffin recipe that I have made forever and ever um, my son and daughter they absolutely love these and when they come to visit it's usually one of the things that they ask for. And you guys, it's super simple. And we make it with Bisquick. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my ingredients out, get everything set up. I'm gonna bang out a quick batch of chocolate chip muffins. So I am completely aware that I should probably do something different with this book, but it has served me well for many, many years. And I just wanted to show you that the way that I keep my recipes is literally anything that I print out, I just have over here. I've got some handmade recipes from my mother-in-law, my mom, family members, just lots of things here. But look at, I just went online and I printed this out because this recipe actually used to be on the Bisquick box, but it isn't anymore. So I just went online to the bisquick.com, or it's bettycrocker.com. But you guys, look at how long I have had this for. I printed this out in 2012. I have literally had this recipe in here for many, many years. So I think that that's how you know it's a good one. But here it is, it's super, super simple. Really, really easy, easy to make. All right, so this is my muffin pan. I have had this for probably 30 years. This was one of the first pans I ever bought myself. It is a wherever air bake, and I can't even find pans like this anymore. I have other ones that are super nice, really pretty and fancy looking. This is my go-to almost every single time. You do not burn muffins in here. It's amazing. So. Um, the other tip that I want to give you is that when you're making something that can be reheated or warmed up like these muffins can, we're not going to eat this whole batch of muffins, get paper cups because these you can just toss them right into the microwave and, and warm them up. But if you use like these cups right here, they have the foil inserts. This is not what you would want to use for something that can be reheated or should or will taste better if it's a little bit warm. So don't use these if it's something that can be warmed up. This is great for like cupcakes or things that can go in a refrigerator and should be cooled. These are perfect for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna line our baking pan with these.
We've got two cups of the Bisquick, two thirds cup of milk. I have a half cup of sugar. The recipe actually calls for a third cup. I put in half a cup. <laughs> By the way, you can substitute this with Truvia. Let me see if I actually have some. I was hoping to have the bag, but I don't, but it's the Truvia sugar blend. This is an option that you can, you can add that as your sugar as well. I'm not tonight, although I probably should, but I'm not, <laughs> but that is an option for you. Oh, you can even use cane sugar if that's something that you'd want to do. You could use that as well. Then we have two tablespoons vegetable oil. We've got one egg and the recipe calls for two thirds cup of uh, blueberries. I do, instead of the blueberries, obviously, I do just one cup of chocolate chips and just get everything into the bowl, mix it up, get it into the pan, pop it in the oven. Easy peasy. I know, buddy, it's okay. It's okay. You hear that lightning? I know, Bubba's. You can put your hair down. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I know. Do you guys hear that? Do you hear that? It is absolutely, whoops. It is absolutely storming outside right now, like, storming storming and we had tornado sirens go off just a little bit ago and I was thinking oh my goodness gracious so if you ever watched any of my previous videos this <laughs> craziness um, you know that I love decorating for Christmas like it's what am I this is so random and totally off while we're waiting for those to bake but I love Christmas, like I love decorating for Christmas. I love the Christmas spirit. I love the holiday season. I have a lot of holiday decorations and they are all in our tornado shelter. And I told Rob that we should probably find another place for all of that because I don't like the anxiety and stress when the sirens do go off and we're like, well, should we just wait and see how long they stay on for? Um, should we wait until we see a funnel <laughs> before we take everything out of it? Because it's a lot. Um, here, I'll show you. Let's just walk on in there right now so I can remind myself. But it's like packed. So the stuff that is closest right here, that stuff is actually fall stuff. Here, I'm gonna flip the camera. Goodness. So it goes all the way down. Our stairs wrap around, so this wraps around. So that's all Christmas stuff. You guys, this is our tornado shelter. <laughs> it's supposed to be at the bottom of the stairs. So I think that we're gonna have to find something else to do with all of this. The good news is that we just, I'll put you guys down. We just um, redid or cleaned out our garage. It isn't perfect yet, it's getting there, but we have a lot of extra space in there. So I needed to, um, I, my game plan was to do it this weekend 
finish it today. Did not happen. Um, yesterday, I actually was gonna go out. There was Mother's Day and I had asked for Mother's Day. I had actually asked for us to, for Rob to help me to redo the garage and he ended up doing most of that work because I just was not feeling it yesterday. I should have known that yesterday I kind of felt like something wasn't right. I just wasn't feeling great. Um, so anyways, I digress. <laughs> Squirrel. Anyhow, so we have a lot of extra space in our garage for storage. And I'm thinking that we're gonna have to move my Christmas stuff out into the garage because we have space for it. And especially at this time of year when the sirens go off every week, every couple weeks. I want to be prepared and I don't want to have that anxiety and stress of, should we take all that stuff out of there? Because it literally, it's so much and it's so perfectly like Tetris in there and zigzagged in there like perfectly that when we bring it all out really quickly, it takes over like the whole dining room, part of our living room, like it's a mess and it takes forever to put back. So I think that's what we're gonna end up doing is uh, maybe condensing as much more as we can and get a lot of the stuff that's in there out into the garage. So we have a safe space for when those tornado sirens go off cause yeah. It's that season for sure. Okay, come on muffins, let's go. We are waiting for the muffins. So I've cleaned the kitchen, wiped down the counters. And if you're wondering, this is called a Danish dough mixer. And I absolutely love it. Just makes mixing dough really easily because there's no like resistance. Love, I will link it for you down at the bottom in case you're interested. for spending this evening with me, this rainy, stormy evening with me. We are going to, well, I don't know that I'll enjoy one of these tonight, but I'm sure Rob will, but yeah. Do those look amazing or what? <laughs> All right, again, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to Charlani TV, I would love it if you did. Bye guys.